I'm on a bed oh. and I can't really sit halfway down the bed. Um, yeah, I welcome. This is the 21st of November 2014. Uh, this is Hukalo, humancolony.org. WW dot in front of that, of course. Uh, today we have Jim, so it's a sort of adventure into the unknown for us today. So I um, ask everybody to mute their microphones. Who's in the room already? The 21st of November. This is the 21st of November 2014. Okay, we've muted everyone now. Roy, you, uh, you, you had the video on some place on your computer, so turn that yes. off. It's yeah, repeating everything you say. We have that Over to you, Jim. Welcome, everybody. We've got some new guests, got some this, so let's take it away. Hello, everybody. I'm my Hello, guest. Jim. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. And uh, it, I'm, we're coming from my bedroom live again, or my spare bedroom live, and it's um, Max is still away in Chicago, so we will have to live without him today. So, um, but uh, there is a little bit of news. I'll be on Karen Newman's uh, radio show this Tuesday at six to eight a.m. Um, that's Eastern Standard Time, so 6 to 8 a.m. then. And uh, tell us a little bit about that, uh, Karen. It's on the Pyramid radio station? It's on, it's on Pyramid yeah. 1. I'll put up the link in just a second, but it, please understand it's 6 to 8 p.m., not a.m., because that would be... Oh, I said a.m.? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's p.m.? Yeah, so that would be the middle of my night. But that's wrong with you. Hmm? But the show is about, it's it's the show about oneness and it's on Pyramid One and we'll just be talking about whatever uh, is on Jim's mind. The call, the phone lines will be open uh, for callers to call in. Hopefully, um, he'll he'll want a channel and and we can you know take callers' questions. So I'm looking forward. This will be the second interview, so I'm excited to uh, to have Jim on myself as a captive audience for two hours. <laughs> It's always fun. We have a good time. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to listening yeah. to Jim again. Well, but please call in if you, if you have questions. There's also a chat that you can um, post questions in and stuff like that. So it's an interactive show, so everyone's welcome to participate. And tell thank all you your friends. That. Yes, thank you for that very much. I, I appreciate that. That's very nice. And it's also a lot of fun. Yeah, so. it is fun. So, yeah. That's it. Anybody out there, is there anybody out there today that um, wants to call anybody or needs to talk to anyone? Yeah, well, that's interesting that you should ask that because we haven't talked to Takur in a while, and I had a strange dream um, okay. with Takur, so, <laughs> um, so it would be nice to talk to her. Okay. Anybody else? I'm favoring that. Oh, you're favoring that? Okay. I would like to know more about the colonies update, probably from like oh. Don Glass or someone. Okay, very good. So everybody wants to talk to Takur right now, so that's cool. Anybody else? There was somebody have, requested. Jim, yeah. have we ever talked to anyone from the Federation of Light? I do not think so, or maybe once. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, the thing is, after they talk through me, I don't remember who they are until I watch the video again, and I don't always watch the video, so so I don't always know who who is there. <laughs> I yeah. think was um, was there anyone from the Federation of Light? I've never. Um, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I've watched all the videos. Yeah, because that would be interesting oh. to to talk to talk to somebody from from another. Okay. Federation, but. I think that we invited them before. They just never came. But we'll see. 
Okay, I'm formally so, I'm formally inviting them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. Alrighty then. So, but just, okay. There's a, any other like business? Ask, anyone has any questions? Um, we have Skype group. If you leave them in there, or if you leave them on Google Plus, we've got a few question hunters on the case, so they will um, be able to direct your questions if you're tuning in on YouTube. If you want to tune in on YouTube, there is a link on the Human Colonies website. You can click on that and uh, directly watch on YouTube. Okay, question. Who's going to do the reading of the questions of the people in the back? The, 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 Q, the one who created this did not enable Q&A, so that's too late. We can't use it. That. Oh, you have to enable it? You, well, you, need to, you need to click it before you start it, so now it's too late. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, the, everybody just post it on, on, uh, on the uh, Skype or the Human Colony chat box. Okay. okay. That should be fine. Alrighty then. Well, good morning, everybody. Good to see you. Everybody's out there. He usually goes through the names. And there's Gabriel and Hayan. And uh, Sabrina, I think that's you. And Karen. And that's Kim and Rowie. And Roxanne. And Safira. And Sure. And uh, Shron. Yes. Welcome, everybody, and all those that are listening. Um, Today, I don't know who's going to come, but uh, we're uh, asking to Kerr to come today. That would be great. And whoever wants to talk and has a good message, we always uh, welcome them as well. And if there's anyone out there that really needs a message, we hope the right person comes for you. And um, perhaps some of you have the same messages, and they'll figure out who needs what. So... Um, We'll get started if there's no other uh, questions. So, good morning, everybody, and I good will morning, uh, Jim. have a a minute of uh, a meditation here for uh, them to prepare. So. I am Takur. Good morning, Takur. Good morning. How are you? Good, Takur. Nice to see you. Good. Thank good you. Good morning. It's good to be here today. Yes, we are glad you came. Um, since you haven't been, we haven't spoken to you in quite a while. I've spoken to individuals, but not to the group. Yes. Very good. <clears throat> Um, Who is, has a question for me first, okay. Sabrina? Um, I just had a quick, I just had a quick question about. I had a dream about. Uh, there was a video in the dream, and it and it said that you were leaving, and it had a question mark next to it. I was leaving. Yeah. Where I was, was I going? Exactly. That's what I would like to know. I believe that was just a dream. Okay. I'm not leaving. Okay. Um, but the mind can do. Perhaps it was saying that it's that I was leaving and coming back. Who knows? But it was just a dream because I'm not leaving. Okay. Good. 
I've got a little nervous there. <laughs> Not a problem. All right. Thank you, Tucker. Um, Sometimes some of the messages you get from you and Colony get a little messed up as well. So. <clears throat> Um, if you can talk a little bit about the colonies, um, what's going on, it would be good, like an update on what's happening. Yeah. The colonies are rebuilding the site-to-site -site telepathy. It is almost finished again. The problem is now we have decided to continue with that project, the site-to-site -site transfer of people. But this is a, a change that we have decided. We will not let you know ahead of time, because if we do let you know ahead of time, that may be able to be detected by governments and may be dangerous. Does everyone understand that? Yes. But if we do it randomly, they will not know where to be. So we can do it that way. If that is agreeable to you, that will be something that we will be discussing with you. I was going to discuss it with you at the next webinar, actually, but this one is fine. Okay. So, so to occur, that means that you will know when the best time for each individual to go is and just pick correct. them up? Correct, and they will be gone for two hours in their sleep or in uh, the daytime if there is a period when no one is going to be visiting. We do, we will check with your schedules and find the right times. Even if we're not particularly in meditation and, and in, in it a does state not matter. Doesn't no, matter. No, it's like just like transfer, as we will call it. It does not have to be awake or asleep, but has to have the right time period that you can be gone for two hours and no one will know that you have been gone. Okay. That is the biggest problem that we are finding. If we do not give a warning, we do not know if you will, it, it will work as well, but it is not something that, that we have to choose at this point. You will be surprised, but mostly at night time when you are asleep. So you will wake up on arrival. Yeah. Could, could we do something that let you know, for example, that this day is not okay to do it or anything like that? or that this? Well, you could speak it out, out loud and let us know that way because the ones that we are going to be, the ones that are going that day we will monitor for the day. Vikoha Shaha T. That would be a very good standard. Well, those of us who are married or have partners or don't sleep alone and our partners are not particularly uh, in tune, that would, it kind of would limit that They person. would not be taken at that time then. Yes. It will not be a time when they can be discovered gone. Right. I just mean it might limit their chances if might limit Correct. Yeah. Yes, I would say limit the opportunities of coming to the colonies, but at least it will be happening with some, and we would like that. We will be taking the other ones, ones still in holographic form. Mm -hmm. They will not miss their opportunity to be the, to the colonies, but they may miss the opportunity to come in body. Okay. Um, I had a dream that there was a lot of attacking and shooting of guns, and um, I felt like there was some attack on the colony itself. Was Did anything like that happen in any of the colonies, or was that just a dream? That, that was a dream as well. Okay. There was no attack on the colony other than on the machinery of the colony. Okay. There was no gunfire or anything of that nature. There was sabotage on the site-to-site -site transfer machine. However, yeah. it is that it is getting fixed better. I couldn't even tell you. It's around 98%, but I'm not sure of the exact percentile that it is fixed. But it is a matter of great discussion at this point. Mm -hmm. Who else has questions for me? Take care. Take, take care. We have I've uh, been noticing some experiences um, here in Australia. 
uh, the symptoms seem to be that we get drained of our energy and fall into a sleep for maybe two to three hours and we're having very vivid experiences in these dream states and we'd like to know if these symptoms we're having are linked to our, uh, the colony experiences. Some are and some aren't. Let me explain. There has been some attacks on some people in England once again. You are not in England, but in England there has been a great attack of many of those light workers there. It seems to be easier to get an attack there because people are not as aware of human colony or I'm not saying human colony. I'm saying they're not as aware as aliens as some other places or they do not discuss it as much. But they are have been attacked quite a bit in England where they get depression and, and it's almost like a seizure of depression and they just want to lay down or feel uncomfortable or feel drained. Now in Australia there is something else happening and in the United States e even yet another thing so but these are from other aliens that are becoming involved in your ascension and these are from other aliens that would like the ascension to stop or would like non-involvement from other aliens so right now there is quite a conflict they do not want us to help you with your earth problems. They want to think that it is better if you ascend on your own. However, we are helping you to ascend because you need to ascend faster than you are. We are afraid for your lives in some situations. There are some countries and attitudes in places that cause great harm to humanity and so therefore we will try to help you as much as possible but there are those that will try to sabotage us from not helping you any longer but there are many involved and we are having going to have a very big what you would you call it council meeting with many of the different species that are around your planet at this time so that we can understand where everyone is coming from and what it all is about because just recently it seems a lot more have arrived and a lot more have taken action with the planet some good and some bad so we have to find out what we should do at this point Many new arrivals have come and have just decided on their own that they will become active with the planet in good and bad ways. I'm repeating that because it is different in every country right now what is happening in some ways. Not that every country has a different species, that's not what I'm saying, but every country is being influenced at this time and so the meeting will have to decide what is right and what is wrong. There are already rules in place, but they are not being adhered to. So this is another problem. There is much confusion right now around your planet. Have many of you experienced this kind of draining depression? I did. I did it too. Yes. There is many who are experiencing it, yes. Some can lift themselves out of it very quickly because they know how, and some do not even get it because it doesn't affect them any longer because of the, the, the way their channels are working. Those of you who are of, of higher channeling capability may not be affected as much. Yeah, I hadn't been affected in the past, but I was, but um, uh, the Arcturians came and they lifted it right off. Yes, yeah, there we're are not being affected mentally. I did not hear that. I said we're not being affected mentally with a depression, it's just uh, more of a, a draining of the energy so we sleep. Um, Kim I, has been having I, interactions I, with Syrians. 
and yes. clearly remembers these and channels. Yes, in Australia, I, it is different. There is something different going on there. They're trying to pull you out from being attacked, and the Syrians are helping in your area because it is a different species, and they can help with that. But it is a good thing. You see, in Australia, it is not so negative. But in other places, such as England and some places in the United States, very depressing energy comes. And it puts them down for days at a time. And this is not good. I can feel the difference here, comparing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you used to be in England. To be in England. That's what I was saying about right. leaving the, US, right. the United States. The energy is so different in Europe than it is in the U.S., just in the month yes. I've been back, yes. even just the, the just leaving within one day, I felt the difference. Yes, there is yes. different there energy, different energy being, forced being forced on the world. On the world. But to occur, but to occur, what is the the point of doing that if they want us to ascend on our own, but they're also trying to influence what we do? These are different species with different thought patterns. Some do not want you to ascend on your own. Others want to help you ascend. That's just it. There is a great conflict right now. Some are trying to put down the ascension, and some are trying to help it. They see what is happening. They came from far away, and they decided to be, become involved immediately as soon as they found out what was happening here. And so, therefore, there's conflicts of interests everywhere. Uh, to Kerr, those of us who are connected to you and to uh, Grik Viknir, um, don't we have a certain yeah. amount of protection from you that we're not, like, intercepted by these other beings? You are terms? protected in the hoople, yes. But when they take action against personalities, it is difficult to protect you when we are not knowing how to protect you. Well, some of you these are newer entities. Uh, some of them are what, Tikir? Newer entities. Uh, newer, okay. So the, maybe that dream I had with some attacking going on, did that have to do maybe with that? Because I don't normally have those kind of dreams and it's not necessarily physical guns, but the symbolism of everybody being under attack. Is that that's so? Is Perhaps, it? Perhaps, but it was, not a, it was not a symbol of the colonies. No, no, I I know that now, but a lot of people have been feeling going through a lot of stuff as we were just discussing. So, are yes. we not only being? Are we? Is there not only a difference of opinion about how we should be ascending, but? Is there a very concentrated attack on us as well, on many of us? We are working with the weather, the, the structure of the planet, and the seismic and volcanic reactions, so we cannot delve into that as much as we would have. Oh. But we are still studying it. And there will be a council, as I mentioned. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, would you like to open up the floor for questions or? Yes. Uh, I have a question, if you have the time. I am. Uh... Hello, Tucker. We spoke a week ago. My name is Shir. Yes. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am very well. Uh, what is your week, question? Yes. Uh, last week I talked uh, to you about the hybridization programs. Yes. Um, my question is uh, if you can mix races or can you go through the program uh, a couple of times? Yes. There are some with as many as five different hybridizations, but the body has to be able to handle it. Now, you can ask for those that you want, 
but they may not all be approved because of your body type or chemistry makeup, DNA flaws or something. But usually we can put in at least a couple different hybridizations. These hybridizations do help with the ascension in the way that they make you stronger physically and mentally and more aware and, and there are different things that happen with different species. I could yes. go into facets of that but I do not think it's necessary. Um, the girl? Yes. Uh, I want to give you my permission um, for the Octurians, um, the spiritual ones. Yes, that, that will change your spiritual awareness, yes. You got In off the uh, sense? Pardon me? In a good sense? Yes, of course. And it All won't interrupt any of my... I would not give you anything that would harm you. Okay, so I, I give you my permission. Thank you, Wittya. And I have passed it on along already. One more question, if you may. Yes. Last time we spoke, uh, me and my brother asked to be on the program, uh, the human colony, to visit. Um, yeah. Have you visited it, yet? Not yet, but it will be shortly. Okay, thank you very much. You, be, you are welcome. Um, Takir, uh, may I please? Go ahead. Hello, yeah, Ta yeah. Hello Takir. Uh, um, I would like to give my permission, it's Gabriel, to uh, go physical to the colonies. So I put it out. All right. And also, I'm wondering, I had had a lot of bad dreams, uh, scary dreams, lately. Is yes. there any reason for that? Scary dreams. It's probably part of the attack. We are not part of that. What kind of dreams were they? Like, I'm afraid almost selling out of an elevator and... Like a zombie attack on the streets had a lot of those stream. Those were activated by negative forces. They were not part of Group Vignir. However, one moment. Yeah, the... You will have protection from that from now on. Can you, can you help me had a very good dream. I haven't had a very good dream, positive dreams in a long time, if you can help me with that. I will speak to you privately about that. There is something going on in your life that is triggering negative thoughts as well. And they are being enhanced. And I'm also wondering about on the colonies, how, what's the tips, how you must interact to eat this and how can help us when we go there physical how we can become comfortable because that, it will, that information will be given to you at the colonies okay hmm. I, I'm wondering about how we yeah, learn how we how we <laughs> how, I did not how, I did not <laughs> I'm wondering how uh, Lyran greets other people, other beings, if how you greet Lyran. You find out in the colony. Okay. Many of these things you can find in the colonies. We greet each person with our own identity. Their own identity. I'm sorry. That did not go through the translator properly. When we identify you individually, we have different ways of greeting you. It is the way that you most want to be greeted. Um, Shakir, this is Safira. Hello. Hello. How are um, you? <laughs> 
well, I have been going through so much physically and emotionally, and I simply wanted to know if any of that was ET related, implant related, hybridization related, or is it just me? <laughs> Of course, if you have hybridization within you, that will affect how you feel, but it should make you stronger and not weaker. It should make you feel better and not worse. However, if you are being attacked, where are uh, you are in the United States? Yes. There is some attacks on strength and different bodily functions. It feels like you may have the flu at times in the United yeah. States. Much yeah. nausea, much yeah. different things of that nature. You're feeling nausea, correct? Yes. I um, see. So that is an attack, it, yes. Oh, I see. So That's I haven't had any... Oh, okay. Okay. So I haven't had any any activation of hybridization recently, nothing of that. You have not been healthy enough for that. Oh, okay. So, are you aware of the chemtrails in America? All of the uh, of chemicals? Yes. Is this affecting a lot of people now with the nausea? Is that it? or? No, it? not no. yet. We are removing chemtrails little by little but we can only do it in a small amount of the time but we do remove some chem chemicals from the atmosphere your governments must take charge of that project okay. Cause sometimes at night I go to sleep and I ask you for help because I'm feeling sick and I don't know so you're saying that I'm feeling the way I'm feeling emotionally and physically because of a spiritual attack on me? Correct so what can I do about it? I already pray and I already try to... We are working. We will have to do that with the council because we cannot stop individuals. And in, there is too much activity for us to control. Okay. We must take care of the weather and we must take care of seismographic and okay. other problems on your planet first because that what is happening with some individuals is clearly that there are some individuals that are being narrowed out of the population and being experimented on in some ways then there are other species that are taking portions of the world and using that as an experiment so it is not a good thing right now I see Okay. Well, um, Karen has a question next, so I'll stop. Thank you, Takur. Much love to you. Thank you. Much love. Much love. Hi. Um, am I still feeding back or not? You are fine. You are fine. Okay. Um, yesterday I was having a conversation um, in a hangout with Sarah and with, um, with another uh, girl, and we were chatting, and then in th at the at one moment in the conversation, and I never moved. I had scrapes all down my arm, and my and it, there's welts. You can still you can probably m maybe see. Well, you probably can't see, but I still have crack arm and welts. Then there's four lines of a scratch. Yes, attack individual individuals are not happening as well. Well, say that one more time. Yeah. Individual attacks are happening as well as with Sophia and others. I believe Gabriel has individual attacks as well. But this is something that must stop. And we must get a control of this somehow. There is much going on and it is trying to stop ascension as much as possible and we're not sure why. It is perhaps that some beings want you to eliminate yourself so they may have your place. But we are trying to stop that. 
I well, I, like I, I didn't feel it as it happened. I just looked down and there it was. And like yes. I said, we were yes. having a conversation, and then at one moment I started feeling a burning on my arm, and then it was there. And it's yes. still there. I would, yeah. have to, I would have to look into. In, uh, there are many things happening in different parts of the world, and that seems like something that a reptilian would do. But for what reason, we know not. To bring down your vibration, I don't think it would affect you in that way. We were talking about reptilians. Have, <laughs> That's possible. Was that a reptilian conversation you said? Yes. Ah, then it was reptilians. But I do not understand their methods because that will not help you not ascend. I do. I give you up. Maybe I'm I just sorry. said something that irritated one of them or something. You never know. It is possible. But that does seem like something a reptilian would do. It's called marking. They marked you. Would it help to put a pyramid of light around yourself? Uh, I do that. Yes. Any self protection that you may have is always good. It does help you on top of the protection that Grukvik Nir can provide. But at this point, we are not providing as much protection as we had before because many things are happening on the earth seismically and weather-wise that we have to pay attention to. And then the other thing is so many more have come into play with your planet that it is impossible for us to handle it all right now. So we are more concentrated on the Earth and as it is geographically and I do not know the words. You can't gosh. Yes. Continue. Karen, are you done? Yeah, I'm done. That was it. That was all I had at the moment. Okay. Much love. Much love um, to you. Um, Hopefully I'll see you too soon. Sharon, you're, yes. you're next. Strong. We can hear you. You need to unmute. You need to unmute your microphone. Got it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, I uh, yes, my name is Sharon. I'm very happy to be here. And I had a question um, regarding. Uh, I had a session with Jim and Takur a few weeks ago, and later that evening or one of the nights, there was a my spouse saw a being in our room, and I wondered if you could shed any light on that. I did not hear what you said. It skipped. Um, my spouse saw a being in our room not long after having a conversation with you. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if you could shed any light on that. You felt a being in your room, correct? Saw one. Yes, it's a Pleiadian. Hmm. That is your protector. We talked about that, I believe. Perhaps. Yes. You do have a protector now that follows you in your sleep and it occasionally goes with you where you go. That is the entity that you are feeling. Okay. Do you have a question about that? If you don't, um, I, well, I did have a question about another being. You talked about, you said I had a sister, um, Kalai or July. I can't yeah. remember. Uh, yes. I just wanted to know how I can communicate with her and where you said she was again. She will be in contact with you in one way or another. You, you, she can hear you, but she will be able to contact you at a later date. Do not worry. She will. She definitely wants to get in touch. She will be in touch with you, and you will hear her voice. You will not be able to see her, but she will. You will hear her voice. 
Krahaja. One moment, please. <laughs> My computer was broken, sorry. <clears throat> Continue. Um, and I guess my third question was whether I've been to the colonies or not. Yes, you have been there once already now. Colony one? You went to colony, colony one, yes. And you worked on telepathy. You are a great telepathic person. You have much telepathy, and that is good. A natural, as we say. That's all on the colonies, on the colonies, you are very friendly and always smile. People enjoy that quite a lot. <laughs> you become more calm in your demeanor, and you are very friendly with everyone. Thank you for your giving of your light to those around you. Namaste, Takara. Namaste. Much love to you, Sharon. Thank you. Likewise. Namaste. So, <clears throat> um, have I begun my hybridization with the Liram? This is Hayan. Hayan. Yes. Continue. You said something about Liran. Liran hybridization. Has it begun? One moment and I will check. Guata shant vidyadiyan. Geliruka. Three days ago. I have been sleeping very strangely last five days. So it's more than three days. But is it when, still linked, maybe? No, the hybridization started three days ago, but the preparation was five days ago. The preparation started for it five days ago, but the actual hybridization process started three days ago. Okay. So, so the tire there was, was some the... preparation. Yes. There was some preparation. Yes. Yeah. Your cat noticed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's awesome. Yes, um, you are very. Con yeah. yeah. So, what what would the difference be now when we go to the colonies? With the site to site when we go there physically. Besides uh, remembering much more, of course. Well, you would be in physical body. That would be the big difference. You would be able to feel things differently because it is a fourth dimensional atmosphere. You may actually have to wear protective clothing there or a shield around your head to keep the oxygen running as quickly as it should because the density of the air is less mm. and would we able to use that fourth dimensional energies to like heal our bodies in some ways that we couldn't if you did an intention meditation it would be much stronger there yes it would not be a complete healing for the first time, but within a week, you would probably be much greater healed if you were to stay there a longer period of time. Two hours is not quite long enough for you to get the full effect. Yeah. yeah. But you would get some, definitely. Yeah. Cool. And I must go now. All right. All right. Continue. Continue. 
Can yeah, you just, just to me? Me? Okay, Seb, what? you can go. I will pass the mic to Seb. Thank you. Much yes. love, Tucker. I must go to you. Um, hello, Tucker. Um, could you give us an update on on the Earth and what's going on? Because there seems to be a lot, uh, quite a bit of earthquakes happening. And there is many things. Yes, yes, and you will notice that the the governments have also recognized the wobble on the Earth. They have actually announced it in some places. We announced it much, much earlier than they did. But, yes, it is the wobble that is causing the problem. The energies from the center of the galaxy that hit the Earth a couple years after, well, almost a year and a half after 12, 21, 12, have affected the Earth in many ways, and that is one of them. The wobble is causing earthquakes, greater seismic problems, and volcanoes. However, we are calming them down and trying to help with the wobble as much as we can. There are many great storms happening in many different places. Just where Jim is here, just south, not many miles, five feet of snow fell. And now I believe it's six. And believe it or not, we stopped it from being ten. Wow. Is there like a mini, is there a mini ice age trying to happen? Is that it? There are many natural things occurring, but when the wobble of the earth came into being, it changed the natural occurrences of the earth. And therefore, whatever was going to happen will not happen the same way. It may okay. happen much quicker, or it may not happen happen at all. I see. Now, is, is, does the sun have uh, anything to do with some of the things that are happening? Yes, there are solar flares. And there is a great barrier that was built to, to stop certain flares from getting to the earth at certain times. It's a movable flare. It was around Mercury, but now it is stationed away from that planet because that planet in its evolution or revolution around the sun is has changed. And this is only in the sense that it will protect Earth from the flares. And so it will not stay in one place as rotations continue. I must go now. Thank you for coming. Okay. Thank you, Tucker. Thank you very much. Namaste. Much Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Oh, I am Cynthia. Hello, Hello Cynthia. Shalom. Thank you. I have just come to report on some things I have heard. Yes, we are helping in Australia and in New Zealand as well with some of the negative energy that has been coming through. However, we have been giving good messages and bringing great spirituality to places that 
could be depressed. In Australia, there is many things happening, and the desert has recently been hotter than usual. Is that been reported? But anyway. Yeah, that's correct. And we are trying to help Grook Fickner with some parts of that because it would appear that the continent of Australia could be harshly burned if if we let things go the way they are. Has that been noted by your continent? Thank you for the help. Kim? Yes, we Gurkfiknir needs some help at this time with some things and we are helping and also delivering some positive messages to those people in that area. New Zealand on the other hand is not threatened by the heat but is still threatened by some negative forces. We are in those two areas to help Grokfiknir establish a greater power on your planet. We find that their work is very beneficial, and we would not want to see your race be non-existent. So therefore, we are helping in some ways, and the dreams that you have are spiritual and calming because we feel that you need some preparation for the great heat that is there. Now, we have helped it a great deal, but there is still much to do. Do you understand? Absolutely. Yes, Santia, would you like to introduce yourself to the um, listeners here today? I'm Santia from Sirius. I am. A, we felt the energy. I'm a fourth to fifth dimensional being. Very light. We exist not in bodily form as your bodies are but in energy bodies. What else would you like to know? I would, I would like to say this is Kim from Australia. I would love to give you my deepest gratitude and thanks. I, I recognize you and I acknowledge what you are doing. Um, and our whole population will be eternally grateful uh, so please, please pass that on to your species, and uh, we love you very much. Thank you very much. The heat is great there, and we have calmed it down somewhat, but it still will continue. Yes. I Thank you for the storm. Ah, uh, you're welcome. I will go now. I just wanted to give you that report that there is something happening there and that you are aware of it and that you are being helped. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming, Cynthia. Thank you. Namaste. Much love, much love to you. Namaste. Alright. I I came through to let you know something. <laughs> Hi Roger. Hello, Hello. Roger. <laughs> Hello. When you get these attacks, you have hey, to find them off. 
off. You know what I mean? You just can't let them happen to you. When you start feeling that stuff, you have to take some kind of action, protect yourself. Some of you are just like going, well, it's time for bad. Blah. Yeah, you're not doing anything but just giving in, so don't do that. Some of you are taking action. That's good. I'm glad to see that. But some of you are just going to bed. So don't do that. I mean, you can be still active and good and everything. Just take your time, do a meditation, and intend it for what you need for that time, and move forward. Ouch. But... <laughs> I just wanted to say, yeah, they, the reason why these they're doing so many attacks is because they're so successful. They're successful in getting people to lay down, to be less productive, to meditate less, to con be in conversations less that would be helpful. Do you understand? If some of these would things would be much helpful to you if you were actually to talk to each other about I don't I don't feel so well right now what can can we do together because you are connected to everything everything's connected your your souls are all connected in one way or another do you understand that and so if a bunch of you start going down it drags the group down a little bit. They they have to be stronger to keep you up. Does that make sense to you in a way? Yes. Because it is in the spiritual sense that you get knocked down. You see, that's part of the ascension. They use your body to get to your spirit. They use your body to get to your spirit. Do you understand that? Because when the spirit when the body goes down and you're not feeling so well. Your spirit goes down as well. You can't. It's hard to keep it up. It can stay up when you're not feeling well, but a lot of people just let it go. Just let it fall. Just let it rest. So what can we do? Uh, talk to each other. Encourage each other. Let each other know that it's just an attack. If they're feeling the same way as you're feeling, what are the odds that he... The, a group of people all come down at the same moment with the same thing. It just doesn't happen. It's a reptilian thing. That's the, but they have they've gotten some governmental approval for this. So I don't know what that's all about. Any questions? Yes, um, Grendel. This is Safira. We've never spoken, but I've I've heard you. So thank you. Um, Actually, my question yeah. was for Karen, so because <laughs> I wasn't sure, Karen, if you were going to jump in. So go ahead, Karen. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, Hello. Hi. Um, I, had a I had a question about, um, oh my goodness, well, sorry about that. I had a question about, um, sorry, one second. You just have to call me back. Sorry. Um, my what came to mind as you were talking about how there, uh, how people are being attacked. Yeah. Is is there something to the effect of like, if you're if you have to take care of your physical body, right? Then. Yeah. Is, in some ways, by sort of pushing like GMO foods and unhealthy things. I mean, that's also a way to take you out of your it's spiritual self. You yes, know? because some food, yes, it is correct, because some food does affect spirituality. Interesting enough. It can affect the body enough to block spiritual communication. So be careful what you eat. Yes. I'm not sure what you eat that does that, but I know that there are foods that do that. So, yes, you have a good point there. There, Food can also be, but it doesn't affect you as much. That takes time to, to get, have a great effect. When you just eat it, it has a slight effect. But if you keep eating those kinds of foods every day, then it will have a stronger effect. 
You understand. Uh, but was there another part to that question? Did I miss something? I feel I did. Okay, so not to give in to the tiredness and sleep. Meditate. Yes, but you should actually do something then. That when you feel that you are being attacked, when you feel that that a, a crushing blow has been led to you, and there is no reason for it. There's, I mean, you're really not ill or anything. It's just an attack of your spiritual, your body, basically, that is trying to get to your spirit, and it does because it makes your body feel so bad. You can move forward in a way, do something to fight it, and it will go away. It will go away because it cannot stand to be fought against too much. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you, if you actually take action against it, it starts immediately to be dissipated. But if you just lay down, of course, you're just going to sleep and be out of touch and not be in the, in the, in the frame of helping anybody, in the frame of helping yourself or anyone. That is all I'm saying. Um, so this is again Safira, and I would like to ask on behalf of Karen. She was scratched with four long scratches on her arm while having a conversation yeah. about reptilians with a few other yeah. women. Do you know who that was and why they did it to her? I don't know who it was, but I know it was reptilian, and it's called uh, Milkosha. It's how the mark of uh, stability. Of uh, they know that she knows a lot, so they will uh, definitely. Oh yes, I know who that is. Yes, they definitely will be watching her because she knows so much about different things. She's gotten a lot of information recently, and there was information coming to her about reptilians that they really didn't want her to have. But she has it anyway. So was it to stop But she's her? marked. Oh. But in a positive no. way from their point of view? The marking is... It's just... It's not a positive or a negative. It's a marking. They're going to be watching her. Oh, okay. Thank you. Is there anything she can do to help protect herself from these um, occurrences in the future? I don't know. I don't know of any way to do it. Because if they want to do it, they just do it. If they don't give a warning, that's the problem. You could probably protect yourself if you knew they were coming but you don't know they're coming. So every day you should put a, a shield of protection around you as strong as you possibly can. So that's all I can tell you. And then perhaps they wouldn't be able to get through it. But uh, I, have to think, I think they have their ways. But it's not an ex extremely painful thing, so eh, it's just a marking. Yeah, yeah, all right, is that it for questions? One, one more question. How do they, how do they benefit from uh, doing these things? Oh yeah, uh, well, I'll send someone to watch them because they're they're able to sense their markings. They sense who has been marked, and they check on them daily or many times a day, depending on what kind of marking they gave. It sounds like a long. Along how many how many claw prints were there? Four. There were four. Four. Yeah. The most they can be is five. So yes, that's to a high watch. Yes. But, but Grendel. Yes. It is. But they do that anyway. Hmm. So they're watching just to make sure she doesn't get too much information, or why are they watching it? Who knows why? There's some reason that 
there's some information that she gathered recently that they want to see if she is going to use or something. I do not know the personal situation. But I do know that there, the information that they she has gathered concerns them in some way. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Grendel. In, in terms of other um, other entities, other civilizations that Tucker had talked about, do you know anything about that? Yeah, I have. There's a bunch of new ones that just came through, and um, a lot of them from Alpha Centauri area, a lot of them from uh, Orion area. So uh, those two areas have been uh, bringing a lot of new faces, should we say, down here. And they're, some of them are really good, and some of them are, whoa, you don't want to mess with them. So uh, there's one from Orion that's uh, one species from Orion that is really not nice. So uh, Grook Fignir is trying to keep them out of commission as much as possible. However, it's not easy. <sighs> and and the reason for them to want to, I guess, prevent ascension here would be what? Personal. They want the planet. If you annihilate yourselves, fine. Then they get a, a shot at it. Okay, but but in your view, are we looking pretty good? You're looking better than you were 20 years ago, but eh, you have your moments. You're not as good as you could be. Um, Grendel, are these attacks on us, are they just ET related or... Demon related spirits. It can't just be ETs attacking us, can it? It depends. It depends on who you are, what you believe, and what interaction you've had with who. I. It can be spirit. It can be alien. But it's mostly alien right now. Oh, okay. It's mo I'll tell you that it's mostly alien. Okay. Do I have any reptilians around me particularly trying to attack me? Not that I can see. Oh. But, but are, there, are there aliens around there me? Might be some, there is something around you. I'm not sure what it is, though. Hmm. It's hard to tell on these things. Okay. Hello, I can sense that there is something there, though. Yes, you do have something. You have a you have a ghost in your house or something. Mm. Uh. Thank you. <clears throat> Grendel, this is Hayan. Hayan, yeah. Uh, I have reptilian. Yes. Um, is it your race, or do you know what race it is? It's actually the race that belongs, actually the race that belongs to Grukvignir. So you have the very friendliest reptilian in you. So I'm sort of in the middle. We're sort of neutral about how we feel about humans. I have, I've taken a liking to humans personally. But not everybody around me agrees with that. You mention humans to some of my friends, and they'll be like, "Yeah, man, yeah. they don't, they don't care." So we love you. Oh, you love me. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, ah, that makes me turn green. <laughs> so anyway. Can, can you tell me what I have for reptilian? It's Gabriel. Reptilian DNA. Gabriel. Do you have reptilian in you, Gabriel? I've been told yeah. that, but I don't know yeah. from who. It's not a very high percentage. One moment. What, two, three percent? I, I'm not good at reading those things, I, so I, I don't know. 
I was told 5%, but... That much? I don't think so. Well, maybe, maybe 3%. I, that, like I said, I'm not good at reading that stuff, so... I, well, I guess, you I can't ask me. I don't have that kind of mental thing that can tell who has what. I don't care about that crap. Because I, I don't have any in me. I'm 100% reptilian, so... I, I don't want any namby pamby races getting into me. No, thank you. Yeah, but can you tell me what reptilian race it is? Oh, yeah, it's that friendly one that Gurk Fignir has given the reptilian to some of you. But um, I know they started without permission from Gurk Fignir, but. Yeah. But now they're part of it, so it's good. Actually, there a few of you have some reptilian from other other species. So, but I think yours is from the the goody goody one. Yeah, Ugh. that's okay. Still reptilian. Hey, sweetie, this is Roxy. I have a quick question for you. I was uh, told Roxy. I have. It. I have an interaction coming up with a reptilian um, yeah. in 3D, uh, shape-shifted or not. Do you have any idea when, uh, maybe, I don't know, just, I don't know, I just was felt inspired to ask that question. Can you look into it for me? It'll be a third-dimensional reptilian, yes, I know who it is, but I'm not allowed to give you any big clues or anything. Okay. They'll, look, cool. they'll look human, they'll look human, but you'll know that they're a reptilian. Okay. You'll know yeah. immediately, immediately that they're reptilian. And also, it's not going to be very long from now. They really want to talk to you. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I've been getting, and then I just and then synchronistically of you. That's what I thought it was going to be a human, but I'll know right away. Perfect. Thank you so much for that. Exactly. Yes, there's your clarification because you will know immediately. When, because the first thing they're going to say to you is going to be something that you, is going to be resonate with you as a reptilian thing. Gotcha. So, because uh, I know what they're going to say. <laughs> but, eh, because it's for them, to, it's not for me. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, Sheer? All right, who else? Um, can I just ask a quick question? Um, yeah. Are there reptilians on the moon? Because maybe that was the information. Well, I didn't get that information, but I got information about the moon, so I'm wondering if that was... Oh, yeah, the there's reptilians up there. There's several different species. Of, if you would go to the back side, the dark side of the moon, you will find more species than you care to talk to because there's, there used to be one or two a while back when your your people went to the moon you want ever wonder why no one goes back to the moon no there's no interest in the moon anymore that's because there was three or three uh, there was three species that let, let themselves be known to those people that walked on the moon yeah and their, and their ships and everything are there, and they said, don't come back. That's why nobody's been back. The, the nobody's reason. been back. Why would, why would they go back if they get threatened by alien species? If you come to the moon, we're going to hurt you. So they're not, not mincing words there. They're just saying, oh, let's... Let's do something else. Let's not go to the moon anymore. Where did, what can we do with our space program? Oh, we'll send a probe to into infinity. Okay, great. So, are there Arcturians on the moon? No, there are not. No Arcturians. There's three very strong holds on the moon of species, but then, but there's other like four or five different species that have small. A little bases there that are allowed and they don't intermingle. There's one in the Sea of Tranquility on the front of the moon, but it's subterranean. So, 
it is there are some bases on the front as well, but they you can't see them. They went underground. Okay, can you tell us which species are that are positive or on the moon? No, there's reptilians, Pleiadians, that the 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 rebel pre Pleiadians, there's the uh there's no Lyrans there. There's no Octorians there. Uh, there are some uh, Zeta Grays. There's some Yigil there. And there's also um, Orions there. The, there's a Fendorian, a small Fendorian uh, aspect there. Uh, I, that's all I can remember. There's a couple more. What, what's the name of the reptilian species that are up there? Do you have any names for them? Uh, they don't like us to use their names. That's their names. They use them. I, but they're not a happy group. That's for sure. I think they're actually rebels from the first race of reptilians that is in charge of the Russian area, so they're connected with them somehow. Randall, I I know that the Russians have a lot of interactive interactions with the um, reptilians, but I feel that the Arabs in the Middle East also have uh, a lot of reptilians. Connections to the Not only because of Russia, yes, it is true. But Russia is the one that sent the reptilians down there, so there's something there. There's a alliance there, so yeah. All right, group. Alliance um, against Israel or something like that? Yeah, uh, that's a whole mess. <laughs> they have a lot of political mumbo jumbo going on there. And yes, they don't like the Israelites or whatever they're called, the 12 tribes. They don't like any of those guys, really. So, anyway, they'll fight them yeah, in the way that they fight them. All right. I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for coming. Grandpa. Thank you for coming. Thank you uh, so much. Much love. <laughs> Not much love, yeah, yeah. Strength and honor. Right, have a good day, and uh, uh, yeah, try not to hurt yourself, okay? No, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you for your great advice. Ten moments. Yeah, try to be a little more active, you know, and uh, I don't know. Thank you. That was good advice in the beginning. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We love you. Yeah, thanks. Yucca. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Good. How are you? Very good. You get your water. Just I'm thirsty. sure you're thirsty. Oh, yeah. Just thirsty. They leave me thirsty. The only one that doesn't really leave me that thirsty is if Jesus comes. He's very, very light. And when, after I talk to people in sessions, uh, I don't Jesus leaves you not thirsty. So I take a little sip and I'm fine. So, <laughs> but um, he's been to a lot of private sessions lately. So, a lot of people have asked for him in their private lives, and he's been really wonderful with many. I've gotten some interesting letters back from the people that visited with Jesus. There was someone I won't name names that they were expecting a baby, and there was some problems. Um. They said that uh, the doctor said that there was a high chance that they would um, have a, a uh, Down syndrome child. 
And um, Jesus came and told them the baby was perfect. That's great. And the next tests that they did were normal, were all normal, and they sent me a letter. Oh, awesome. And said, yeah. thank Jesus, thank God. Everybody's, their tests were normal. That's, that's So great. that is like, oh, my God. He could see right in and say, the baby's perfect, is what he said. They told him. Yeah. They told me he said the baby was perfect. So um, it's a wonderful thing. So he's been doing a lot of mir little miracles like that. So anyhow, uh, anyhow, it was good. Was a, we had a good a, session. It was to occur. Yeah, Jim, when you shall Jesus, he will turn the water into wine for you. I didn't hear that, Gabriel. What'd you say? When you shine the Jesus, when you're done, he turns the water into wine for you. Oh! <laughs> no, he hasn't done that yet. But I could request it. So, make it something really, you know, fruity. <laughs> I'd like a fruity wine, please. With uh, high alcohol content. No. <laughs> just, just kidding. But anyway, uh, no, he hasn't done that. But he has been very good. He's done a lot of really good stuff. So, so Sabrina was giving you a rundown of what happens. You you want to okay? Go ahead, Sabrina. Yeah. So Takar talked. I don't know how much you heard, but she. I hear some, but I don't hear it all. I go in and out anymore. Yeah. But they're told me that I'll tell you something. Takar told me the other day that they want me to become a conscious channeler. And I'm going, how are you going to do that? And they said they're working on that. That I they, they think that is very possible I could become a conscious channeler and I wouldn't have to go through all the meditations and all the stuff. And so yeah. we'll see. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Well, you... they want me to be able to waste little time. Messages are important. Um D did they did they give you any exercises or anything to do? No, not yet. Just that it was a, just a comment that they wanted me okay. to become a conscious channeler because it's much more efficient. Yes. So well, anyway. yeah, you can go in and out in a, in a few seconds. Yeah, that's. I, I think they know what they're doing. So yeah, I'll be like Roxanne or anybody else that can just. Right yeah, that's more yeah, how I do it. I, yeah. I can just go in and out. <clears throat> that's cool. You see, I don't know why I have to do that. So Maybe but. you just thought you had to, because I'm also, I was told I'm a conscious medium, and messages just flow, especially if I'm talking with somebody and they have a certain situation. Uh, but you, they do, said, you there's do that, so Jim. Many yeah, they yeah. said there's so many important messages that are coming that we need is all the time we can get and that it's a waste of time to do all that huffing and puffing and stuff. <laughs> well, what I want to say is you've always been a conscious channeler. You just felt like you needed to do the other thing first. But you've always I don't been. know. Yeah. See, the irony that I, that I was thinking, Jim, was like maybe I should I should be more like Jim. So I know, you know me too, I'll, Sabrina. I know. Like, oh my God, I'm not... Meditating enough. I'm not breathing enough. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> oh well, no. I I guess you really don't need it. Um, I do meditation before the channelers come for the. Be I say prayers and do all kinds of stuff. So. I think that's great. You do that. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's a permission slip. The meditation, um, all these things, it's just a permission slip to connect. So sometimes it works for some people. Sometimes it doesn't for others. So when you consciously start channeling, then you're not even aware of it happening, and it just comes through, just like snap, right at the right time when it's needed. In my experience, exactly. So, um, look for that change sometime in the future. I don't know when. <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, or maybe not. You know, they might, might not find the right spot. <laughs> but uh, uh, they were saying they would like that to like to waste less time getting through but I do I think it's because I'm doing prayers and stuff like that perhaps I'd have to do that before I start channeling like before I turn the 
the, the screen on, which I also do, but maybe I'll do it all then. We'll see. When you were talking about Jesus, did you realize you were actually consciously channeling him then? Because we felt the energy. I was. We feel the energy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Yeah, he's, he's around me a lot lately because a lot of people have asked for him, and he's done some lovely things for people, really, and they I got letters and, and uh, notes saying, oh, this is what Jesus did for me, and I'm going, wow, that's really cool. So, um, Yeah, my I, session with him was really good. Oh, really? really good. Yeah. But yeah, Sabrina, yes. you had Jesus, didn't you? Yeah. And he, yeah, was... well, he had some interesting thing. I don't remember what he said to you, but I remember it was pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, I have no clue what I don't could never remember what he said though, but um, <laughs> but uh, I know he told was it him that said something to Al about his lymph nodes or something? I don't know, I can't remember. So yeah, he he I I asked him about the first the first beings that were created. Um, oh, okay, and he gave me a pretty good explanation about that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I've been meaning to actually post it on the website because I think it, it would be good. Because I think, um, I don't know if it was Lakesh that had mentioned something about it before, but he gave a more, I think a little bit more detail information okay. on it. So. <coughs> <coughs> well, good. Uh, yeah. Let us know. Just post, send it to uh, Slava. And he can edit it out, the part that you want uh, to be posted. Yeah. Or you can do it yourself. I, I'm sure you're you're capable of it as well. So. Yeah. So, but yeah, he, he was he was very good. Oh, oh excellent. And, it's, and I, 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 he even smiled. <laughs> I made even made him laugh, which I was so overjoyed. <laughs> Oh, cool. To see that, I was like, oh, my God, I made Jesus laugh. <laughs> well, he was a very happy person, I think. Yeah. I really do think Jesus was a really very, very happy, wonderful, kind of giving guy. So, so Yeah. It, I, have, pretty happy. I, have, I have a question for everybody. Uh, one of the main messages was to support each other a lot right now because of all the attacks which are coming from other ET races interjecting themselves into our process or wanting to stop it or having different opinions about how the ascension should be done. So since I'm not around very much, uh, do you guys all do that anyway? Like do you guys all still meet and talk about how you feel and support each other? Is that still going on? I'm assuming it is, but I just wanted to ask. It has gone down a lot lately. Like a lot of people are separating away having their problems alone. Oh, okay. They feel it's that it's coming from the group? <clears throat> no, I think it I think everybody's just very busy and have a lot of things going on in their lives, so okay. I think that's more what's happening. So um, my problem is I've been trying to get to some hangouts and it will not let me in. I'm having really a difficult time getting into some of the hangouts. I get booted out several times, and then I just stop. I guess I should continue to try, but after about three or four times, I go, "Okay, not meant to be." So. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you yeah. have an iPad or something instead of having a computer. Yes. Okay. It will um, be easier for me. All right, more channeling sessions so I can afford an iPad. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, but, um, Actually, it would no. be nice donations towards a computer for Jim. I do have a very, very old oh. computer. I, I don't think you should have to pay for it, but um, I'm just... Uh, I'll get one eventually, so... But I, you guys are very nice and good to me, so I'm very happy. So you're very generous. I get every now and then I get a very nice, generous gift, and it's it's lovely, and it, it helps me through my month. So it's good. So, well, I see and, everyone uh, here. Hey, Jim, 
I see yeah. everyone here now seeing you on your new computer. So everyone see oh, Jim, yeah. let's say, typing yeah. on his computer, loading it up, yeah, so clicking computer, on the yeah. website. Everything that you are doing on your computer, you see Jim as doing in the end, living in the end, so to speak. He's already That's got right. it. doesn't matter how he gets it. And now you have it. That's right. So it's coming. Exactly. Yay. Yes, the law of attraction. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's already there. It's already okay. there. And that's, <clears throat> you know what, I do with that, that with a lot of stuff. And I will now do it with my computer. I hadn't done it with my computer. I had other things that I'm doing it with. But uh, I will do it with the computer and the car and everything else. So Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, so should we do um, a uh, blessing now? Oh, sure. I can hear this week, so I can hear what your blessing is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, and whoever oh. else, I mean, uh, Sabrina, you do wonderful blessings. I'm going to invite anybody else who wants to do a blessing. Just let us know right now so that we can go to you next, or we're, they will expect you. Is anybody yes. else anybody else going to do it? Uh, yeah, blessing. I don't know how much uh, it means or something. Okay. Um, who who said that? Sure. 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 Very up? good. Oh yes, do a blessing for sure, please. Uh, I'll let I'll let you start. And I'll Karen have like to. So the yeah. sure one to do a blessing is that what he said? I can give you a yeah. blessing in Hebrew if it means something. Oh, oh, yes, one course. Wonderful, okay. wonderful. Also, Karen wrote that she would like to as well. All right. Well, All right, then so go I'll right after you. Figure I'll out an order there, and we'll, yes. we'll just yes. do it one, two, and another. Well, let's sure do it first, then Karen, and then I'll go last. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> מי ייתן ולכולכם יהיה שנה טובה ותעברו את כל המשברים שיש לכם ורק טוב. אמן. 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 Y candira sa Sancho olah pata yakin emanando lariara santi shompati kate. Thank you. La casa canali o coscoro cotono no lialia sacaturu tu scorono cur calalialia lialia coscoron tu araca. Tariali o coscoron tu rua. Harias cariata calialia. Sorono lo akalialialia, suru to kuluan alialia, askaria to lua lali, elialio koskuru analia, to sakario to turialialia, kaskaria tala, torono lu alalia, tarario sokuru alalia, taskaran ala, turu alalia sakario tu, halakata uaran analia, kaskaria na katuarala, to saralala. Taras katana lio surua, tarana kuto kurua lalia, haskaratuna, ariolo lua lala, talalio surundu alaki, erialio lu, koro alala, tarana lua siario, torontu lua lali, eriolia, tarano kuru ala, tarala aliolu nondurua, teriono kuala, tarano alakia, tarala lalio suru, Torono kulu kulu alia, tara katu alia, tana alia alia, haran turu lo. Torono lo alia, sanadu, orun turu o soru, horokos kuru ondua, harion alia, haraskaratu, horondru tu, horolali yu soru o tu, haran tala, haralu, horondru. Thank 
పొరలు హరందాలి అలి అలి I was here when your gifts were born and I will be here while your gifts grow do not let them fall into obscurity or let them be lax for they are the gifts of the spirit they are the gifts of many many lives before they are given to you to be used and not to be turned away they are given to you for to teach others and not to be scorned they are there for you to grow and help others to grow i repeat myself many times when it comes to you because your words sometimes need emphasis to understand when you listen you do not quite hear when you understand you push it aside sometimes as a way of not being responsible for the things that you need to be responsible for you must have understanding you must accept your gifts and your challenges and your destiny because destiny is part of who you are destiny is part of this life for you it is a fine time to be alive for you and you can make a huge difference in the balance of what is to come and your names will be remembered but that is not important what is important is that it begins in a way that feeds many souls much light and that you may be that person or that being that spoon feeds light to one of those in darkness continue to move forward continue to grow your gifts for they are not even yet done being born they are still in their infancy and will become great in time much love to you and carry on with your great understanding if you choose to make it great because there is a s- of greatness in all of you thank you jim that was very beautiful thank you karen and sabrina and jim and oh wonderful thank you wow yeah. that was a long one <laughs> yeah um good uh, it's great seeing you all today perhaps next week we'll be in a normal format back to normal or whatever oh this that was really good yeah this is wonderful there's nothing abnormal about it <laughs> is this okay for everybody? Yes, um, yes, yes, absolutely. Hello, Max. I, I, wherever you are. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sandy. Sandy, uh, hello. <laughs> Maybe next time you get a chair for Sandy to sit next to you. Maybe. Yeah. But that's the whole thing. If there's guests in the room, I want them to be able to be seen. So yeah. in this yeah. format, they have to loom over my shoulders if they want to be seen. So it's... Um, not ideal anyway much love to all of you thank you very much for coming today and if uh if you need to ask any questions send me a text sometimes they answer them sometimes they don't um but i'll be willing to try <laughs> okay thank you everybody for coming okay, thank much you to the webinar and those we had 26 viewers today Wow. wow. Yes. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. We had 26 viewers today. 26 other than the 10 here? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Okay. All right. It's yes. It's growing. It's growing. Yes, so, it's growing. Wonderful times. Thank you, Jim. So, Thank you. you. Bye, everybody. So, Have a bye, Jim. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Much love. Thank you all.